So what I'd like to share with you now is just a follow-up to the discussion that we had about partial breast radiation therapy. Now, again, the theory of partial breast radiation therapy is that if a cancer is going to reoccur in the breast, almost 90% of the time it's in the original neighborhood where the cancer was. So the theory of partial breast radiation therapy is that we really only have to irradiate, if you will, the local neighborhood. And now this means that I've done an adequate job in getting your tumor out and adequate margins around it. And I'm going to be putting a device in your uh, breast under ultrasound guidance. And I shared this with you in the office, but I want to reinforce it. This is done under local anesthesia. Uh, it's a very straightforward sort of procedure. Uh, we do it uh, in the office uh, setting. Uh, and then after the device is in place, you will be going either that day or a day or so later to radiation oncology to have them do what's called CT simulation to make sure the device is positioned correctly. The options that I have for devices, one's called the Savvy device, which has sort of spokes that expand up down which the radiation seeds can come, or another is a balloon device uh, called the Mamocyte device, and I'm using less and less of that. Odds are that I'll be using on you the Savvy device, uh, which is kind of clunky, sticking out of the breast for the week or so that it's in. But the advantage to this, as I want to remind you, the advantage of this is once we get the treatment started, generally we're done in five days. You come twice a day, the treatment is twice a day with, I think, usually about six hours in between the treatment times. And then once you've had 10 total treatments, the device is taken out by my colleagues down in radiation oncology. During the time that the device is in, you'll be on your regular pain medication. You'll also be on antibiotics. And uh, just as a reminder, we gave you a prescription for antibiotics that we want filled once you're taking the antibiotics before you arrive for me to put the device in. And I also typically advise my patients to take one of the pain pills that I may have already given you for your past surgery. So it's a really neat technology. If you're receiving partial breast radiation therapy, you are in a select group of patients who have smaller cancers, uh, slower growing uh, cancers, and your lymph nodes are not involved. So hopefully this follow-up explanation will remind you and help you to understand what partial breast radiation therapy is. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.